Hey guys, today I've got for you a tutorial video on a really cool effect, uh, something you can just play around with and have fun, and it takes literally no skill with a deck of cards. So I guarantee every single one of you will be able to do it by the end of this video. Now, uh, you might be wondering why it takes no skill with a deck of cards. Um, that's because it's not a card trick. We're not even going to be using cards at all in this video. <laughs> so, let's get into it. So you're probably wondering what it is that I'm going to be teaching you today, and I guarantee all of you have seen this effect before, it's it's really goofy, and like I said, you can just mess around with it. And it's the one where you stretch your thumb. It seems pretty basic, a lot of you might even know how to do it already, but for those of you who don't, uh, it's it's worth learning, because it's, it's really fun, especially if you're performing to some younger audiences, you can have great fun with this. Um, I'll go into how I use it in my own performances uh, later on in the video, but if you don't know what it looks like, which is unlikely, but I'll show you anyway. Basically, you, you take your thumb, and the gag is that you can stretch it, okay? So you take it in this hand, and then you sort of... Uh, you stretch it like this, so you can see it's becoming longer. Okay? And and then, just before anyone tries to examine it, you just sort of uh, shrink it back to normal and show it's, it's your normal thumb again. So that's how I use it. It's it's something that I just pretend I'm sort of stretching my thumb out as like a warm a warm up to my performances. You see, so I stretch it and then I restore it back to normal. So it's a really fun effect, as I said. Uh, but that's what we're going to be learning, so let's get into the tutorial part of this video. So this is the over the shoulder camera angle we're going to be using today. Not in a normal setup, obviously, uh, but it should be working just fine. So to do this, this effect, I'm just going to expose the secret very quickly before I take you through it step, step by step. Obviously, the thumb uh, you're seeing here, the end of the thumb isn't the same thumb uh, that we're showing at the bottom. So obviously, spoiler, you're not stretching your thumb really that far. I think if you were to do that, uh, you would there would be some sort of medical problem with you. Um, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to be using two thumbs. One of the thumbs goes here, which is your left thumb, and then your other thumb is, is going here. And you can see from the front what it actually looks like is it looks uh, like it's the same thumb and when you start off and you haven't stretched it at all you can see it looks, you can just swap the thumbs and it sort of looks exactly the same so it's very easy to fool people that they're seeing the same thumb, it's, it's continuous, okay? So from the front, when you're in this position it looks like the same thumb but when we stretch it out and we bring this th this right hand thumb all the way down to the bottom of the sort of pinky area here, the thumb will look very stretched. And then you just restore it. So it's very simple. Let's just get through the handling. Very very easy, very quick. To start off, what you're going to do is you're going to show your thumb and talk about how you need to do some stretches uh, before your performance. So what I do is I take my thumb and then I, I do a big sort of misdirection. The larger move covers a smaller one. The smaller move is getting into this position here, and the larger move is I bring my hands together and upwards. Okay, so I'm talking about how I, can, I need to stretch my thumb. I bring both hands together and get into this position. Now, the way you get into this position is you curl these bottom three fingers, your middle ring and pinky of your left hand. You're going to curl them around your thumb, not too tight though, uh, just sort of so they're shielding it from view. That's the main uh, objective of that. Then you take your left thumb and it sort of slips between your index and middle fingers. Okay, so it pokes out just like that. So that's your current position. From the front, it will look like all you've done is you've taken your right thumb and you've done that. That's what it should look like to the spectator. Okay, really what you've done is that. And as I said, bigger mover and bigger movement um, hides a smaller one. Bring both hands together and upwards while you do this and practice that it will look exactly the same and it will just look like you've done that and actually you've done that. Once you're in this position, you're set up and ready to go. The, you really It's a lot of acting that sells this illusion as well. Just what you're going to do is you say, oh, just going to do my uh, pre-performance stretches, get into that position, and then you slowly pull your right hand down like this. And the key to this is not to use too much pressure with these fingers. If you really press on hard with these three fingers of your left hand, it's going to be very hard to pull your thumb. 
Now, worst case scenario, you're going to dislocate your thumb. Obviously quite bad. <laughs> uh, but um, slightly not as bad, uh, but also pretty bad for your performance is this is going to happen if you use too much pressure. You'll be pulling, you'll be pulling, and then suddenly, oh, illusion's lost because your whole thumb comes out. So you don't want that to happen. You want to press lightly with these light pressure, just like this, so you can just slide your thumb in and out like that. So that's what you're going to do. You pull your thumb slowly downwards, and selling this illusion that you're stretching it, you can pretend to be in a bit of pain if you want to. Uh, grimace a bit, up to you. And then you get down to this position, don't really go much lower than about there, because um, then it starts to sort of curve back into your top of your thumb and then it'll, the illusion will be lost. So you don't want to, you never want to get further than really your knuckle of your right thumb out of your fist. So you're in the position, you can give it a bit of wiggle if you want, uh, just show like that. Don't have, don't leave it in this position too long because people will start to work it out. Um, and then quickly, what I do to uh, just get rid of this effect, sort of return it to normal, is I push it back into my fist, and then once again, I'll bring it down. Bigger movement called, uh, hides a smaller one. Down, you take your left thumb out of there, like this. I open my hand and roll the right thumb off. I sometimes blow on it like this. So I'm sort of grip it like this and go like that. Pretend it's sort of returned to normal. So once again, just like that. So you're going from here to here to here. And that's it, it's a really simple effect. And it's it's not something that's intended to fool audiences. It's just something that you can have fun with and and play around with. Okay, so that's really cool. Uh, maybe something else I sometimes add on is a pinky one as well, where you can pretend uh, to take your pinky and then you sort of tend to to bend it. Okay, just like that, which sometimes looks pretty cool as well. Uh, you can Dynamo has obviously been quite famous for doing this. It's one of his uh, his effects, like that. And if you can get that crack of the knuckle as well, that's that's even better. So I sometimes do that uh, as well as that as part of my finger stretching routine. Then I'll start doing my card tricks, and uh, that'll be my performance. But I just thought I'd share that with you as a little subtlety that you can add to your performances. Okay, then guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on on my channel. Make sure to check out my Twitter and my Instagram accounts. Links will be down in the description below. Also, get down in the comment section and tell me if you enjoyed this kind of video that didn't use some cards. Um, you know, uh, maybe if you guys really liked it, I could show you that pinky trick uh, that I showed briefly at the end there. Um, but yeah, I really like these sort of weird effects that they're sort of not effects on their own, but if you, you use them in between effects or just before you start performing, they can really enhance your performances and I'm a really big believer in you know the little things really matter and this is one of those little things that can really enhance uh, your performances so let me know what you think in the comments but as for now as always guys this has been Flip Deception and I'll see you later